Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Grounded video. And before we get any further, I wanna say today's video is going to be absolutely massive. A huge amount of spoilers will be shown in this video, so if you click off, I will not be offended. I promise you guys, I know that there are some people out there that really like to keep this stuff a secret, and that's totally fine. But we have access to a huge amount of content, supposed content that's coming in the August patch. Now, with everything spoiler and developmental, you things can change. Things are going to change. So everything you see in this video is subject to some sort of tweak or possibly not even making it into the update in August. So I just wanna be very clear that what you see is not always what you get. Now, that being said, there is so much content here. I thought it was really important to do a more fresh, live, non-edited version of what we're going to do today. So it's gonna to be a little bit longer of a video. I may get a little rambly and I apologize for that but that's because I want to show you guys all of the cool stuff that the obsidian team is working on yes these are leaks yes we had to use a little trickery to get here but we got here and there is so much we need to talk about so first off I want to point out this armor that I'm wearing check this out this is so cool this is brand new armor in the game this is the koi scale set it is clearly designed for swimming so you may be asking yourself okay so he's got a swimming set on why is that because guys, the next update or a soon to be update is going to be all about the pond. We knew bees were coming, we've seen bees, but now we can pretty much confirm that a pond update is coming. And I will show you guys very shortly why that's a big deal. So the Koi Scale set here is all about breathing underwater and faster swimming. So the headpiece here gives us increased breath capacity underwater and the greaves here give us increased swim speed. You'll also notice I'm using the Stinger Spear. This spear is available in creative mode, but in case you guys hadn't seen it, it's a really cool looking spear. This is either the tier two or tier three spear. I can't remember. I believe this is tier two, but it's made from the B parts and the B parts are not accessible in the game right now, even though they included this spear in the creative mode. I also spawned in a diving knife for us. This is going to be a new harvesting tool in the pond update. It's going to allow us to get some of the aquatic plants that we're gonna talk about and look at very shortly here, but it's a new tier one tool. There is a tier two version of that, but we'll get there, I promise. We've also spawned in one more thing, the underwater lantern. This is the exact same thing as the torch, but underwater. So again, you're wondering, okay, that's cool, but why all of the secrecy? Why are we not looking at the pond? And that's because there are so many changes to this pond. Check this out. We've got cattails in the distance. We've got lily pads up front. We've got insects over here. I mean, an absolutely massive change to the way that the pond looks. Absolutely gorgeous, really cool. And I am so excited to check this all out. So I just want to say guys that me and water do not get along. I'm actually deadly afraid of water, especially swimming in video games. I'm terrified of the ocean, terrified of lakes, things like that. And usually I need a buddy to calm me down, but Livid's not here right now. So I'm really doing this for you guys, doing this for the channel, and I'm terrified. I really am, but we're gonna stay on top of the water first because there's a lot to talk about. First, obviously we see these insects down here. So let's jump down and let's see what these guys are all about. So we can jump on the lily pad, no dynamic motion, anything like that. So we're good. Really cool looking lily pad though with the uh, the texturing. I think they did a great job. And let's check these guys out. Now remember, animations, motion, clearly not done. He's just kind of turning, which is kind of weird. But again, developmental build. So let's kill this thing. This is a water strider. It looks like you can see in the health bar up top there, water strider. Let's kill this one and let's see what we get. So we got water strider legs. Now water strider legs are gonna be used in most of the equipment needed for the pond update. The flippers, the strider skates, which I think will let us, yeah, skate on the surface of the water. So really cool stuff there. What else we got? Diving knife, the harpoon bolt for the harpoon gun, the bone diving knife, which is that tier two upgrade I mentioned before, and the venom harpoon bolt. So striders, really easy to kill most likely, and uh, really valuable. Those parts are really important. So let's kill another one here. Let's just see if anything changes. Probably not. See if there's any more parts to uncover. Nothing there. Now let's check out what are these little things? Lily, lily pad membrane. There we go. Hard to say. So let's take out our knife here. What are we going to get? Are we getting anything? Oh, there we go. Lily pad membrane. So let's check out what that's for. So the lily pad membrane is used for the underwater lantern. 
that's the only thing at this point. I have unlocked all of the available crafting patterns, so there's nothing else currently in this state that it's going to be used for. So the underwater lantern, though, obviously very important if we're going underwater. We need the lily pad membrane and bioluminescent goop. So let's see where this is from. Oh, check this out. The mysterious juices that allow fireflies to glow. So we are getting fireflies in this as well. Yeah. All right, so these are kind of annoying to hit. Maybe they're not all working, perhaps. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's almost every hit. It's just being weird. It does shake the whole lily pad. That's kind of cool. All right, so it looks like we can pretty much harvest as much as we want there. I'm curious. Oh, did you see that over there? What is that? What is that? All right, so there's something swimming over there. Bipping and bobbing in the water. We'll get there in one second. I want to see... Oh, my God. Oh, it's a, it's a little, you know, like a scoop. Like for a pool. All right, so we did get a quest there. Find your way to the depths of the pond. We're going to check that out in a second here. But I really want to see what this is. All right, guys, we're doing it. I'm terrified. Here we go. Okay. All right, so there's... Holy shit, there's so much stuff in here. So what do we got here? What is this thing? This is... I don't know what this is. Can we kill it? All right, no title on this. Pretty big. All right, so this is a water boatman. Water boatman. Looks like we got tadpoles, too. So let's just get up here to safety for a second. Let's check out what this water boatman is. Water boatman fin. A fin harvested from the wing covered of a water boatman. Broad, flat, possibly edible. Looks like we can make water boatman soup from it. Um, doesn't look like there's any effects on this yet, but all we need are two water boatman fins. So it should be pretty easy to make, and if we can make them out in the wild, they restore health, maybe? Um, if they're gonna give us hunger and thirst back, that's actually really good. That's possibly a potential big pickup for the update. And it looks like they- uh, there's a couple over here. They just kind of go up and down, so that's interesting. So I don't think they do anything, at least at this point, and they just kind of go up and down. So that's the Water Boatman. And guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I am flying right now. Alright, so check this out, guys. So this frisbee used to be over in the middle of the lake. It's now over here. Why is that? Um, I'm terrified. Alright, here, let's see. What, what is this thing? Oh, so this is some sort of breathing plant. It looks like it restores our health. There's a bubble inside there. I'm not sure what this is called. Um, but... Looks like there's some sort of... Is it a plant? It's hard to tell what it is. It looks like a mothball, but I don't think it's a mothball. All right, so that's some sort of new flora as well. I want to check out this tadpole over here. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, he's flying. All right, can we kill it? Oh, oh, something's attacking me. What's attacking me? Oh, there, we got a new spider. We got a new spider. What is this? All right, it's not that scary. It's actually one of the small, small little guy. All right, no title on him. Oh, now he's running away. Come here. All right, there we go. We killed him. Let's harvest him. So this is... This is the Diving Bell Spider. All right. So I would expect the animations to change just a little bit on the Diving Bell. Wasn't that scary. Um, it is smaller. I don't expect that to change very much. But that's the new Diving Bell Spider, and that's going to allow us to make some of this really important equipment. The Koi Scale Helmet and the Bone Diving Knife. All right, so I do want to kill one of these tadpoles if I can. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, this is going to be such a pain in the butt to kill. Oh, get stuck. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Okay, this is a harpoon gun target. 100%. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Now, there's not a lot of tactile reactions to this. Like, I'm not feeling anything. I'm not really getting much satisfaction. But again... Developmental build. This is all probably subject to change. So there we go. Tadpole's dead. <laughs> Floats. That's kind of funny. And there we go. Raw tadpole meat. Tadpole slime. So the raw tadpole meat looks like it's going to be used for decoy bait. A bundle of bait meat made from tadpole meat used as a distraction for larger predators. I'm not 100% sure what they mean by larger predators. Possibly the koi, which hopefully we can find. And then there was the tadpole slime as well. Where is the tadpole slime? Tadpole slime. Used to make the strider skates and the harpoon gun. 
All right, so tadpole is definitely going to be one of the easier to kill I, uh, insects. Is it an insect? I'm not sure. Creatures in the game, but very important. All right, so let's let's get adventurous here. There's another diving bell. Let's take him out. There we go. Easy to kill with that this insect spear. Okay, all right. What do we got there? We got something there. What is that? Oh, I don't like this thing at all. What the hell is, is this a leech? Yep, all right. So it's hostile. Yep, it's a leech. Okay. All right, that thing is gross. I it's running away very fast. Do leeches move that fast? All right, I'm trying to kill it for you guys. This thing is a little tricky. There we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, we got the leech. All right, let's see here. Leech sack. What is a leech sack for? Leech sack is for the harpoon gun as well. Harpoon gun requires quite a bit. Sprig, leech sack, tadpole slime, strider leg. We actually have everything that we need to make them. Um, we're going to have to get ourselves a workstation at some point so we can make them. All right, so let's just get our O2 back here, our oxygen, and then let's keep exploring. We're going to keep going this way. And we've got a ton of other stuff over here ton of tadpoles. I mean, like a massive amount of tadpoles. We've got a bucket. One of the buckets. The pond plant pot. Do I dare even try and go in this thing? What the hell is in here? I'm scared as shit. Alright, here we go. Can I get in here? There we go. Alright, we're in. Oh, there's more. There's... Oh, that was an elite show! My god, that scared me. That scared me. Yes, I know. I'm a child. Where the hell are we? Okay, leech down here. We are in the submerged lab, guys. We we are in a completely new part of the game. There are leeches in here like crazy. What is this? Some sort of... This is like a... Almost like a timer of some sort. Oh, something's aggroed on us. All right, leeches are on us like crazy. Looks like they're tied to the lights. It almost looks like a Christmas tree, like, light timer or something. Alright, so cool little spot here. We've got leeches on us like crazy. Bright, bright lights. I'm just trying to explore every nook and cranny down here. We're getting hungry. Alright, let's, let's get up to that lab if we can. Let's get away from these leeches. Alright, so there is an entrance right here. Bottom pond lab entrance. Oh, here we are. Oh, look at this, guys. Check this out. And I shit you not, this is completely new to me too. I have, I have, I knew we had access to this. We got the access, but I didn't ruin anything for me. So this is a genuine reaction with you guys. Um, it doesn't look like any of this stuff is interactable. Can we get through here? We sure can. Notice all the floating particles. Kind of interesting. Oh man, this is a, this is a big part of the lab. This place is getting pinker by the All right, we've got some science stuff. We've got another analyzer here. We've got a spiral staircase, which is leading us to somewhere. This is almost looks like the like an observation deck, the pond lab dome. All right, now what? What do we do here? Open. Oh yeah, it is. Look at this. All right, cool. So this is some sort of observation platform. Oh, here we go. Reset the three underwater power breakers. All right, so it looks like a continuation of the quest. We've got tadpoles all around. The water boat mans. Water boat men? It doesn't matter. All right. Let's keep exploring this lab here. See what else we got. Uh, this looks like... Is this the exit? This is the water again. But this is a different part of it. Oh, okay. Alright, so there's just another exit right there. That's cool. Maybe we just unlock that. Oh, something's on me. Something's on me. What's on me? Another leech. Alright, so... We've got a quest, but check this out. Look at this awesome new structure they added into the game. Some sort of, like, underwater pagoda type thing? I don't quite know what it is. 
Now, the one thing we haven't seen yet, and I know it's in the game, is the Koi, obviously. So I'm not quite sure where the Koi come into the picture here. But hopefully we'll find out. Now, I do have the ability to spawn in a Koi, and I will show you guys that. But I just want to explore everything first here. Some leaves. Some more water boatmen. Alright, so let's let's take out our diving knife here and let's see if this is collectible. So this would be my guess what the eel grass is. It doesn't look like this is active in the game quite yet, but let's check out some of these other plants here, see exactly what's available. Alright, so nothing there as well. Most likely these things are going to become active and those are going to be what we can harvest. I'm going to check out some of these smaller plants down here too. Looks like we got a bunch of leeches in the water here. All right, so nothing here. I mean, leeches everywhere. So if you were wondering what the what the what one of the predators in the water is, it's a leech. And these guys are freaky as heck. Don't swim at night. Let's take out our lantern. Does a nice job illuminating the area. It is getting dark, so I'm, I'm getting a little paranoid. All right, so I'm seeing some glowing lights coming from over here. So let's see what this is. Oh, great. Is this the same place we were before? I think it is. These lights are blinding. So we need to find these power breakers. Are th is that these? There it is. Okay, power breaker one. Power breaker two. And... Power Breaker 3. Okay. Alright. So we are rerouting power to the Oak Lab. That's our goal right now. So let's get back. Alright, so we're going to go back to that terminal up on the top here in the dome. I really like this dome. I think this is one of the coolest things I've seen in the game in a while. Obviously, the whole concept of Grounded is amazing. But to be this small and to be able to see the entire pond as, as its own ocean almost is amazing. Alright, there we go. Turn the power on. Everything is freaking out right now. Oh, what just happened? Rock just went flying. I have no idea what just happened. Alright, so hopefully we didn't just unleash something into the world. Something we're not prepared for. We're sure as that going to find out, right? Alright guys, so I have spawned in a koi for us. Now, I don't know how these guys are going to get introduced into the game, but I did want to show it to you. And they are big mama jamas. Look at how big they are. Completely scarred up from top to bottom. Again, we don't know if these are hostile. We don't know if they're neutral, but they are so cool looking. We do know that they are very important to some of the craftables in the game. Some of the, like the bone diving knife requires bone pieces. And the bone piece text says that you need them from fish corpses. So one would think that you need the harpoon gun to take out these guys. I mean, look how massive they are. You know that's going to take a hit or two. Who knows if the tadpoles somehow turn into them. I don't know. I don't know how nature works. But an absolutely monster creature there, the koi fish. I wanted to show it to you guys because it's so cool. Just imagine three or four of these guys in here, especially if they're... Where is he going? All right, well, that's a little buggy. But hey, look. It's developmental build. Things are going to bug out. So who knows if they're going to be neutral or hostile or potentially even beneficial to your playing. Um, but definitely an absolute awesome addition to the game. All right, guys. So we are heading back to the oak tree. There was some wonkiness because of the way that we had to spawn in this world. We had to do the mysterious machine thing. So these may run back to back. We may do the burgle stuff and then right into whatever the underwater pond unlocked for us. So let's just check it out here. We'll do this together. Who knows? All right, so we are in the Oak Lab. Let's go find our boy Burgle. So after exploring with Burgle, there really isn't much new content in terms of what we did with the pond. Obviously, the two pieces haven't been linked together yet. Uh, it's going to have something to do with these batteries, right? That was the whole point of going to the pond and, and exploring that underwater base was to charge up the batteries in the oak lab so that we had access to new technology but it doesn't look like that's quite the case we've got schematics here 
for the little camera things. So there's a lot more that needs to come in this update in terms of the story content, connecting the pieces together. But at least we know we're going to the pond. We're going to have to do all of the things that we did at the pond base to unlock more content at the oak base. And then we will find out more about what's going to happen with the story when the update goes live. Now with this update is most likely going to come the bee content. As you can see, I spawned in a few bees for us to check out. I'm going to swap over to the camera here so that you guys can see what these bees actually do. They go around to the flowers. The animations are amazing. I mean, they're floating they're, They look like bees. They act like bees and it's absolutely incredible. I'm really excited to see what comes with this content. Obviously, we know we're going to have to kill the bees to get access to their stingers to make things like the insect spear and stuff like that. But they are really cool the way that they kind of interact with the flowers. There's going to be some sort of pollen element to it. We know that pollen's in the game. We know that honey is in the game. So just a quick little sneak peek at what the bees are going to look like. They are most likely going to just hang out by the flowers. You can see their natural behavior is to go right to the flowers. So they're going to be easy to find. It's just a matter of where they kind of fit into the picture of the backyard, what they're going to be used for. If there's some sort of element of building involved with them, honeycomb structures, a lot of questions I have about the bees. So hopefully we'll see these guys in the August update. So I just wanted to quickly end with some of the new items. We talked about them briefly at the beginning, but I just want to touch upon them one more time. We obviously mentioned the Koi scale helmet, chest plate, and greaves. Now getting the Koi scales is actually going to be pretty easy. You don't need to kill the Koi to get them. They fall off any Koi that's spawned in the pond. You will find them on the ground uh, or in the bottom of the pond, if you will. So those are going to be relatively easy to collect. We only spawned in two when we were testing out how to get Koi scales and there were tons of them. So that's really cool. But you're also going to need the tier one of the armor to make the Koi scale stuff. So for instance, you're going to need the diving mask to make the Koi scale helmet. Now the diving mask is pretty easy to make. You need that eel strand grass, you need the cattail fluff, and you need the rebreather. Now the cattails and the eel strands are pretty obvious where they are. We can't harvest everything quite yet. The rebreather is just another piece of equipment and it's easy to make. You need lily pad wax, a sprig, and plant fibers, all pretty basic materials. We also talked about the strider skates. This is going to let you walk on top of water. There may be instances where you want to walk on top of water. So getting those strider legs, tadpole slime, all of that stuff, again, pretty easy to get. I would say that everything in the pond update is going to be relatively easy to obtain. One of the harder things to get is going to be the harpoon gun. The harpoon gun requires you to kill the leeches. You need to get the tadpole slime and the strider legs. I'm really excited to check out this weapon. It's not great in the game currently. There's no animations tied to it, so it's it's just kind of janky. But there is a normal harpoon gun and there is a tactical harpoon gun, and they're really cool. They're just a, it's a cool concept. I'm excited to see how it works. Using the leech part as kind of the, the gas element to it to fire off the harpoons is really neat. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all works out. There is also a new bone trident in the game. This thing is absolutely incredible. High damage, high stun, high speed, an underwater weapon to be sure. This is going to be lights out, but it does require the bone. And we have talked about this previously in the video. Bones are a splinter of bone harvested from the remains of a dead fish. Such a dense material can be made into strong equipment. This is going to be for the best stuff in this update. Koi scale chest plate, bone trident, bone diving knife, and the bone harpoon bolt. So it's only a matter of time before we find out how exactly we're going to kill the koi, whether it be with the standard harpoon gun, whether other insects are going to kill the koi, or whether we're just going to have to do it ourselves. But this is going to be kind of the pinnacle gathering resource that we're going to need in this update. So a lot of cool stuff to come. There are some other things like snacks. The acorn granola is going to be accessible in this update, which does require honey from the bees. Obviously, we had mentioned the boatman fin soup. And in terms of other stuff, guys, I don't really want to reveal too much. I mean, if you really want to know, there is only one additional piece in the game. At this point, it's the triangular stem wall. Nothing crazy here. There's some new traps in the works, things like that, but nothing that's fully baked, nothing that's really exciting quite yet. So this was really fun to dive into all of the new stuff that they keep releasing with all these updates. If you guys didn't know this, when the developers release an update, they basically bake in future content. And it's easy for people that know how to break through all those files and unpack them to look through all the stuff. So that's how we brought you all this content today. All of this really cool stuff in the game. I am so excited to bring you guys more in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. Well, it wasn't exactly a short video. It was a pretty long video. So if you like this type of stuff, guys, do not forget to like and subscribe to Legion Gaming. We have a ton of new grounded content in the works, including something super secret. Can't talk about it quite yet, but you guys are not 
not going to want to miss out on what we have planned for you all. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.